Well, Saint Pau is the largest Art Nouveau site in Europe actually and it was built in 1902 and 1930 by Montaner. Alright, thank God the sun is out. We're headed over to Saint Pau. We're gonna have lunch over in that area. And uh, we're just gonna talk a little bit more about the town of Barcelona. You can access Ricente Modernista di San Pau from the L5 Line Metro. With the funding from Catalan banker Pau Gil and designed by Luis Domenech y Montaner, construction on the Hospital de la Santa Cruz y San Pau began on January 15, 1902. It took 28 years for the facility to finally be open. This facility was a working hospital until 2009 when they moved the facilities north of the property. What's up Jaycationers? We are here in San Pau. It is one of the most beautiful modernisme buildings here in Barcelona and it is just across Sagrada Familia. I can see it from here. I can't believe I've never been here. My two years here, this is my first time here and it's turned out to be a beautiful day. So Sagrada Familia is just along the way, but this is beautiful building, um, a lot of great architecture. And I don't even think Gaudi was part of this. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Gaudi was part of building this building. It used to be a hospital back in the day. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. How have I not been here yet? Better late than never, I guess. Catalan banker Pau Gil died in 1896, about six years before construction, but stated in his will that his estate be devoted to building the new hospital for Barcelona. Saint Pau is the largest Art Nouveau site in Europe, actually, and it was built in 1902, and Montaner was one of the great architects in the Catalan history. There's a street nearby where I live called Montaner, and I always eat at restaurants and bars over there. Always wondered what his significance was. This used to be a hospital that practiced a lot of medical advances at its time, of its time. Montaner hired a bunch of architects and artists to build this massive place, and this is just the front of it. Uh, you can actually tour this place for like 14 euro. Don't have much time, so I don't know if I can go inside, but we can definitely walk around the property. For tickets, visit sanpaobarcelona.org to reserve a date for your visit. Audio guides and other varieties of tours are offered with tours starting as early as 9.30 in the morning. Also, if you're happening to visit Barcelona on the first Sunday of each month, you can get in here for free. So if you're here on a Sunday and it's the first Sunday of that month, come check out San Pau. It's one of the other free things you can do in Barcelona and you can save 14 euro. I mean, you can come in here any other day for sure, but you gotta pay, but that's one thing you can do on a Sunday for free. Unfortunately, Luis Dominic y Montaner died during construction of his project, but his son Pere Dominic y Rura took charge of its completion. Finally, on January 16, 1930, King Alfonso VIII opened the hospital. This was basically built in an area where it's up a hill. We're just past Sagrada Familia, almost like we were walking towards Park Guel, but uh, I'm just gonna walk around the circumference of the property and see uh, if there's any other places I could take some cool pictures but it doesn't look like that, so I don't know, we'll just turn around. I really like the tiles on the rooftop, green and yellowish tiles that are ceramic with a glossy finish. I really enjoy looking at the murals that they have here, the certain murals of people in the hospital. The World Heritage Site is located in the neighborhood of El Guinardo in Barcelona. We're just directly across the street from the Saint Pau uh, Modernisme building and uh, I've always wanted to eat at this Italian spot. I've heard a lot of great things about it. It's called Belle Buon and it's just been really far to get to but since I was here I figured I'd eat lunch here. And they're only open for lunch from like 1.30 to 4.30 on Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then dinner the rest of the week. So I'm here for lunch. Belle Buon is one of the highest rated Italian restaurants in Barcelona on TripAdvisor. For reservations, visit bellebuon.com and give the restaurant a call to reserve your time. The restaurant is owned by a man named Danilo who was very kind to find me a table for lunch. With the menu offering a wide variety of Italian dishes, I decided to go with a glass of red wine along with rigatoni, which was a huge portion. I'm telling you, I definitely had to sit down, take my time, and digest this excellent meal. So we got the 
rigatoni. After finishing this great meal, they brought me over a lemoncello digestive. Finishing off lunch with a digestive. Cheers. Lemoncello. Buongiorno. It's really good. So the Italian tourists sitting at the table next to me just happened to be Jaycationers. It was really nice to meet them. Hola, how Hola. are you? <laughs> buongiorno hey, ragazzi. What's, uh, buongiorno, what's your name again? Danilo. Danilo, nice to meet you. Thank you uh, me for too. having me. Um, this is your restaurant? Yes, yeah, my baby. This is your baby? Yeah. How long has it been open? 11 years. 11 years, yeah. wow. And it's one of the best, if not the best, Italian in Barcelona. Thank you. Um, Thank you what, so much. What, what's your favorite meal here that you, you serve? Bad family in my, my restaurant. No favorite meal. Everything's great. Yeah, everything is Everything's great. Everything's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had the rigatoni and it was. Yeah. Your, your rigatoni. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. It was Thank very you. good. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Thank Thank you, you for you. that. If my viewers were to come here, they reserve a table. Yeah. Um, do they go on your website? Do you have a website? Yeah, you know, to, to phone is better. Okay, yeah. to call. Okay, okay so yeah. make sure you call in and exactly. reserve. Exactly. And uh, yeah, come see them. Thank you guys. Gracias. Bye. 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 So guys, that was great. I just met the owner, Danilo. He was such a nice guy. He actually comped my meal. I wasn't even expecting that. I never expect stuff like that. And um, yeah, we, we took pictures and they were like, oh. This one Italian family visiting from Italy, they were actually eating right beside me. They kept looking at me and I was like, I wonder why they're looking at me. They probably think I'm weird talking to my camera. But turns out they actually knew me. They're like, What's your name? And I was like, uh, JJ. And they're like, what's your uh, YouTube? And I'm like, Jaycation. Oh, Jaycation. I know Jaycation. So like, it's really cool to meet the viewers, meet people from all around the world that actually watch Jaycation. Granted, like, you know, my channel's not that big at all or anything, and but it's still great to see people that really do appreciate what I do and watch my channel. And uh, thank you to the restaurant. Thank you to Danilo. It was a great time. Try this restaurant and then head over to San Pao. We're gonna go to San Pao first and then go to that restaurant. Make sure you make some reservations because it's a great spot. Take your time and eat and you'll have a good time. Anyways, my ass should have done a lot more running while I was living here in Barcelona and go up these hills and stuff, but I'm so damn lazy when it comes to running. I just don't, I don't want to go uphill or anything. I'm even getting out of breath right now just walking up and talking to the camera. Dude, I need to start running more. So after walking up the hill, I got to enjoy some nice views of the Art Nouveau site and also got to see the new facility that opened in 2009. I kind of forgot to talk about the food. So I had the rigatoni. The rigatoni was fantastic. They have three different types of rig rigatoni on their menu. Actually, they might even have more types of rigatoni, but I had the one with the sausage and it was huge serving. It's a huge serving, guys. Basically, you, this is probably like fi family style portions. And uh, I try to finish as much as I can. I had the house wine. They ended the lunch with an aperitivo, some lemoncello, and it was phenomenal. So, Belle Buon, fantastic. I loved it.